this section of presentation provides details about the documents you need to submit in support of your application. The following documents must be provided with your Tier 4 application. A complete Tier 4 application form, which is now completed online. If you are applying before July 2013, you will need to include a printout of your online application form when you send your supporting documents to the Home Office. This is known as a Tier 4 Print and Send application. From July 2013, Tier 4 applications will become fully online and at this point you will not be required to send a copy of the completed application form with your other supporting documents. You must also include the appropriate fee with your application which you will pay online. You will also need a CAS number which is a confirmation of acceptance for studies. This is a virtual document that contains all details about your course of study. Video number 3 provides details about how you obtain a CAS. You should include all passports that contain visas to come and stay in the UK. If you have a passport that you have used to come to the UK but you no longer have this, you must indicate on the application form why you no longer have it. You must also include a BRP or Biometric Residence Permit if you have one. You will only have one of these if you have previously applied for a visa in the UK. You must include two passport size coloured photos and you must ensure that these photos meet the Home Office photo guidance requirements. This can be downloaded from the Home Office website. You must include a police registration certificate if you are required to have one and this must be up to date. You must also include an original certificate or transcript of any previous studies that are listed on your CAS. You must include a certificate, an original one, of any English language qualification that is included on your CAS. Please be aware that this qualification must still be valid on the day you apply. You must include an ATAS certificate if this is applicable to you. Your CAS will confirm whether you are required to have an ATAS certificate or not. Video number 6 provides details of ATAS. You must include appropriate evidence of maintenance funds if you are not a nationality on the Home Office's list of low-risk nationals. The Home Office are very strict about the format of any bank statement or letter you provide and you should read the Tier 4 policy guidance very carefully to ensure your evidence meets these requirements. If you are receiving fi official financial sponsorship, you must include an evidence, evidence of this with your application. The Tier 4 policy guidance gives detailed information on what information must be included in a sponsorship letter. Also, if you have been fully sponsored and this ended within the last 12 months, you will also be required to obtain a letter from your official sponsor giving consent to you to complete your studies in the UK. It is possible to use your parent or guardian's financial evidence instead of your own. If you choose to make use of this option, you will need to provide some additional documents. These are your birth certificate that confirms the relationship between you and your parent or guardian and a letter from your parent or guardian confirming their relationship between you and that they give you consent to use the money for your studies in the UK. In addition, if you are using an overseas bank account, you will also need to provide a printout of the currency conversion using the oanda.com website for the closing balance date. It is less complicated to use your own UK bank account as evidence of funds as the format of statements provided by UK banks more often meets the Home Office requirements. 
it is important that the evidence you provide of finances confirms that you have held the required amount in your account for a consecutive 28-day period. The statement must be dated within 31 days of the date of your application. The most common reason for visa refusals is due to the financial evidence provided not meeting the Home Office requirements, so do be careful when preparing your application. Please note that you are advised to keep the required amount of money in your account whilst your application is being processed where possible. The Home Office state in their Tier 4 policy guidance that all documents provided to support an application must be original. They must also be written in English or Welsh. If they are not written in English or Welsh, then it will be necessary for you to obtain an official translation, which must include details of the translator or translation company's credentials, confirmation that it is an accurate translation of the original document, the translator or translation company's contact details, and the date and signature of the translator or an authorised official of the translation company. You are advised to read the Tier 4 policy guidance extremely carefully to ensure all your documents meet the Home Office requirements. Failure to provide information in the required format may result in your application being refused.